I wanna get into this real quick. We're gonna talk about these two different wallets, the AVAX browser wallet and the new core wallet, both by Ava Labs. I'm gonna go over what I do like, what I don't like. So let's get right into this here. We are on wallet.avax.network. Make sure you're on the right URL uh, because of hacks. If you don't have a wallet yet, you can go to create new wallet uh, and that's going to um, generate a key phrase. Make sure you write that down. It's the same as all the other non-custodial wallets. Uh, but one thing about this wallet is that you have to put in that key phrase every single time you want to log into your wallet. That's kind of one con, I would say. But uh, I'm going to be using my Ledger Nano X, uh, which seems to uh, be very compatible. It works easily. We'll go through the steps right now. Um, Ledger access failed. Okay, so I need to, you're gonna put in your, enter your PIN, enter your PIN, make sure you're inside the Avalanche app. If not, you need to have it downloaded on Ledger Live in your manager and make sure you have the app. So we're gonna go up here to Nano X, we're gonna go to connect. Now it's gonna give me these, um, I have to approve these, these public keys. So on your app, you're gonna slide over, check your deriv derivation path, make sure it matches. Uh, and then you're going to accept, you're going to accept two different paths there, accept both of those, and then it should just let you right in. I've been using the Ledger Nano X. I like it quite a bit. It seems to be kind of glitchy sometimes with the Ledger Live. Uh, and that was actually an issue I was having with Core, but we'll get into that in a second. So this here is our wallet browser. Um, it looks a little bit confusing for a new user. You have your three different chains here, your X chain, which is going to be used to receive and send funds. Certain times, uh, other times you're gonna use the C chain uh, that interacts with Ethereum virtual machi machine, something like Coinbase. Uh, when you're using their wallet, they use the C chain or uh, Metamask, Metamask uses the C chain. So just make sure you're always sending to the correct chain. And the P chain here is going to be used for staking. So if you look over here, this tells you your balances. I actually have a couple of different uh, wallets I'm staking from a different wallet, um, but I just started using this Ledger wall. I'm trying to use Ledger with every wallet I can just to add more security. It shows you here if you want to uh, cross these, uh, send your AVAX to a different chain, you do it right here. You can send from the X chain to the P chain or the C chain. Uh, when you're using your ledger, every time you send or receive, every time you send crypto from within these chains or to another wallet, you're going to need to confirm in your ledger. That's a little bit of, um, it's just a couple more steps, but it adds security and that's why we do it. Uh, so it's, I've been using this wallet the longest. I just started checking out Core. I generally have now gotten used to this and you can stake through this platform. Um, you have to have at least 25 AVAX on the P chain to become a delegator. And uh, to be a validator, you need 2000 AVAX. One thing I don't like about this wallet is that you, it doesn't seem to be compatible to connect with dApps. Uh, like um, different NFTs or, or I was um, dabbling in the AVAX apes and you can't connect uh, to, to that with this wallet yet, but it works really well with Ledger. Um, it, you can stake from it, send, receive. You can also keep uh, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, collectibles in this as well. It shows you your trans transactions over here. Uh, these are your different wallet addresses. It looks a little confusing. It's pretty straightforward. One thing that's kind of a bummer about AVAX is that when you stake, uh, there isn't just like a stake button and it just stakes indefinitely and you can walk away from it. You have to pick a certain amount of time. It's gonna lock up your tokens for that amount of time. You're not gonna be able to, uh, to do anything with them until they're unlocked. Uh, so it's not quite as user-friendly as say Solana or Cardano where you can just stake and walk away and just let your uh, let that kind of passive income accumulate. Now let's get over into the core wallet right now. Uh, I'm already logged into the core wallet. One thing I one issue I had with the core wallet, and this could just be it's a beta, it could be I was looking for Reddit threads, but I wasn't able to access it with my ledger wallet. So that is a pain in the butt. I don't like that. Um, it's quite simple, kind of has a MetaMask look. So here's your AVAX on the C chain. You can add 
new, you can add more accounts quite easily. Just go to add account, boom. Gives you another wallet address there. Uh, you can add different networks. Now, one thing that is quite cool about this wallet is if you go down here to plus and you go to swap, so you can swap right here in the, let's just swap some, and these are all of the tokens you can swap to. Uh, it is quite a few. It's primarily, uh, uh, we, we can't swap to, I want to see if you can swap to like Cardano or Solana. It doesn't seem like you can do that. You can swap to Binance, you can swap to Ethereum, you can swap to Bitcoin, you can swap to uh, uh, Sushi token, uh, Wrapped BTC, Shiba AVAX, Yeti swap wrapped ETH. You can wrap your AVAX on here for uh, making offers on uh, on NFTs if you want to do that. I did another video. I can link how to add AVAX to your MetaMask. If you're using MetaMask, that's what I was using to to mess with uh, DeFi apps. But Core also is now able to connect to those. So if you want to get out of using MetaMask, it seems like Core is your uh, is your spot to go. But I haven't. There's supposed to be a way. To so it tells you here you're supposed to be able to bridge swap buy ledger enabled which I'm guessing either it's a beta or maybe I'm doing something wrong if you have experienced this or you know how to fix this or um, let me know in the comments about connecting your ledger to core portfolio portfolio collectibles gallery subnets so the one thing about this wallet that I don't like which is a bummer is that you can't stake from it doesn't seem like it I read something about liquid staking through this, but if you want to stake to the network, it looks like the uh, avax.wallet uh, web, web browser wallet is going to be the one for staking. We have our swap feature. I kind of want to like do a test here and just see, can you even swap like 0.1 avax into BTC? I wonder if the fees would be too large. It's just uh, slippage tolerance 1%. Let's just do a little test here, see what happens. Swap successful. Wow, here you go. So we have BTC, $2.28 in BTC, $2.15 uh, for AVAX. That's pretty cool to see a wallet that can just swap that quickly. I guess you can do that as well in MetaMask, but the fees are way higher. Those fees were tiny. Uh, I didn't even, I think the fee was like a tenth of a penny or something like that. So send, receive, buy. There is a buy function where you can use MoonPay. There's a lot of tokens here you can swap to. DeFi, this is kind of its own exchange, which is really cool actually. It's actually really awesome. So the, the thing that seems like the things I'm not liking is the staking and the fact that it wasn't more user-friendly with my ledger. I want the ledger to just work. Um, but otherwise the Avalanche network is pretty awesome. It's super fast. I just moved some AVAX from one of my uh, browser wallets to another browser wallet. It was basically instantaneous, cost a couple cents to move it. Uh, it's a, it's a really awesome chain and we're in a bear market right now. So I'm definitely looking to pick up some more AVAX. Uh, yeah, so those are all the different tokens there. So if you go to avaxapes.com, it asks you which wallet would you like to use. I'm just gonna click on core and approve. And there we go. We are we are connected to the AVAX Apes Marketplace, and it's very easy, very user friendly to do that. To me, it kind of seems like it's not a one or the other. It seems like if you want to be using DeFi applications, you don't want to be using MetaMask. I've just been storing my AVAX in the um, the browser wallet here for just storing, staking, if you don't want to be using DeFi apps, doing things like that. And you know, in this state, I would definitely be careful using DeFi apps, I'd just be careful click on links, downloading things, connecting to sites with your wallets, or don't have a lot of crypto in that wallet that you are doing that with. 
Uh, I think the more you're moving the stuff, your, your risk goes up. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this, please like, please subscribe, help out the channel. Let's go. Woo!